Welcome, I'm Rose Oatley, and today we're gonna to be making some delicious butter garlic steak and potatoes. Let's get cooking. For this recipe, you can use flank steak, ribeye, or sirloin. Today I'm using flank steak. This package comes already pre-cut into strips. Flank steak comes from the abdominal muscles or the lower chest of the cow. It's reasonably priced and very flavorful. After rinsing your beef, you want to put it in a bowl or a Ziploc bag, then pat it dry. I like using a Ziploc bag because it's less dishes to wash. To marinate, we're going to start with one third cup of low sodium soy sauce. Now make sure that it's low sodium and not your dark soy sauce, otherwise you'll oversalt it. Next, I'm going to add one and a half to two teaspoons of sriracha sauce. You can add up to one tablespoon depending on your liking. Now I'm going to add just a little bit of pepper, one teaspoon of minced garlic. We're also going to add one teaspoon of baking soda. This is going to help tenderize your beef while it's marinating. I love these measuring spoons because they're double sided and also magnetic. I'll post the link in my description below. Now seal the bag and massage it so all the marinade gets distributed evenly. I'm just going to lay it flat and set it aside to marinate while we work on our other stuff. You don't want to refrigerate it. Cold meat to a hot pan will cause meat to become dry and lose those juicy flavors. For our potatoes, we'll be using baby gold potatoes. Mine come in a little sack like this. Make sure you rinse them. We're going to be cutting our potatoes in fourths, which will give us little wedges. I'd like to give a quick shout out to Blanca, The Kitchen, Stephanie from San Antonio, Poppy from Georgia, Efreen, Ricardo, Vets Hangout from California who absolutely loves mangoes, <laughs> just kidding, and Peace Love Forever 88. Thank you so much for being loyal viewers and for all your support. Take one fourth of an onion and cut it into small strips like this. We're also going to mince three fresh garlic cloves. And we'll also chop and dice a little bit of parsley. Moving on to my stove, today I'll be using a cast iron skillet. I love using this whenever I'm making steak or certain type of foods. Now, if you don't have a cast iron skillet, you can also use a stainless steel pan. And if you don't have a stainless steel, then just use any regular pan. Be sure and check out my description section. I'll post the link for a cast iron skillet in there. All right, so you wanna add one to two tablespoons of olive oil into your pan. We're gonna let it get nice and hot. As your pan starts getting hot, you'll notice it's easier to spread the oil around. Let's go ahead and add all of our potatoes. Now we're gonna make sure to spread them all around so they're one even layer and they don't overlap. Now I did start my heat at uh, medium high heat. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down to a number six. Let's go in with a little bit of salt and pepper and this is to your taste. Add one teaspoon of thyme. One teaspoon of rosemary, and about a half a teaspoon of oregano. Let's go ahead and give this a mix. Now, if you find that they're sticking to the pan, then you want to just leave them and let them continue cooking on that side for a little while longer. They should easily release from the pan once they're a little browned. I have my heat set at about a number five or six. Now, I think I'm going to hit it with a little bit more olive oil, just a little bit. I usually just mix them and then just let them cook on each side for a little while. These typically take about 12 to 15 minutes to cook. Now there are other ways that you could also cook your potatoes if you want to speed things up. You could put them in the oven on a cookie sheet pan and bake them at 400 degrees for 15 minutes while you're cooking your beef. Or you can boil your potatoes for 12 minutes. I personally like to do everything in one skillet. Now while these sit here for a while, let's go see what kind of veggies we can make to go with them. 
I added a little bit of water into a saucepan and here I've got some frozen carrot cuts that I'm going to go ahead and make. So we'll add these. We're going to let them sit in the water until they start getting a little tender. In the meantime, to my potatoes, I'm going to add one tablespoon of unsalted butter. It looks like they're browning quite well. Let's go check on my carrots. My carrots are looking pretty good here too. I'm going to go ahead and drain some of my water. I don't have a lot, but I am going to leave just a little bit of my water in there. Let's go do that real quick. I'm going to add four tablespoons of unsalted butter and two tablespoons of dark brown sugar to give it a nice little sweet flavor. If you don't have dark brown, you could use the light brown sugar. That's perfectly fine. We'll counteract the sweetness with about half a teaspoon of salt. Give it a mix, turn my heat down to low, and then we'll let them simmer for a little while on low. All right, coming back to my potatoes, and they look like they are pretty much done. So we are gonna go ahead and transfer these to another plate temporarily. If you're enjoying my video, please be sure to like and share with your friends. And if you're not enjoying it, share with those you don't like. <laughs> All right, so now to my same pan, I'm going to add about one tablespoon of olive oil, followed by one tablespoon of unsalted butter. Now I'm going to add half of my minced garlic. And we're ready to put in our steak. We're going to spread it out so our beef isn't overcrowded. We're going to cook this for only two minutes on one side. So in the meantime, I'm going to add a little bit of thyme. This is one teaspoon. One teaspoon of rosemary. And half a teaspoon of oregano. After two minutes total, I'm gonna to start flipping these over. Now these don't take long to make, so be careful that you don't overcook them. If you can see in between all that smoke, we've got a really nice sear, which is what we want. This is the great thing about cast iron skillets. You get that nice sear. I'm sorry about all the smoke. I should have turned on my vent. I'm gonna add two more tablespoons of butter. Now I'm gonna add my onions and the rest of my minced garlic. Sometimes I like to saute my onions right before I add my beef, but this is fine. Okay, I'm gonna let it cook for exactly one minute. After one minute, I'm gonna add my potatoes back in. Now that I have everything in there, I'm gonna add a little bit more pepper. Now I recommend that you taste it to see if it needs any salt. Mine is perfectly fine, because remember, you don't want to over salt it. You have soy sauce in there, so make sure you taste it before you add more salt to it. Now I'm going to top it off with my chopped parsley. I'm going to turn off my heat, and we're going to get ready to plate. Here you have it. You can serve it with a side of these delicious carrots or your favorite vegetable. All right, guys, now let's go in for the taste. Mmm. What's up? I hope you give it a try. If you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to do so below or hit my little picture on the side. Also, don't forget to hit the little bell to get notified of all of my new videos. And please be sure to check out these links on the side. Share with your friends. Thanks for watching and your support.